So in this video, we're going to talk about another simple machine, this time being the wheel and axle, or a wheel and axle system. And in a wheel and axle, it's consisting of two main components. We have a larger wheel, which is attached to a smaller axle, so that the two parts rotate together. So below we can see an illustration of the characteristic wheel and axle system and its two main components. We have the larger wheel and we have the smaller axle. And again, these two components are attached and therefore will rotate together. So for example, if we see that the wheel is rotating clockwise, then we know that the axle will also be rotating clockwise. And a wheel and axle can be used to do three main things. The first is to lift heavy loads. The second is to increase velocity. And the third is to facilitate rotation. So only a small force applied to the wheel can create a much larger force applied to the axle. And this is the source of mechanical advantage in this simple machine. So as we've just said, like other simple machines, a wheel and axle provides mechanical advantage. And this makes it easier, or in other words, it requires less effort to accomplish the task at hand. So for a wheel and axle, again, this can be lifting a load, increasing rotational speed, or facilitating motion. And for a wheel and axle system, the mechanical advantage is a ratio between the radius of the wheel and the radius of the axle. So again, we have our illustration of the typical or characteristic wheel and axle system. And you can see it is a ratio of the radius of the wheel to the radius of the axle. So the larger the wheel with respect to the axle, well, the greater the mechanical advantage. So most wheel and axle systems don't look as straightforward as the one we use to introduce this simple machine. So for example, one common example of a wheel and axle system is actually the reel in a fishing rod. So by the reel, we're referring to this component here, which we can get a better view of with the image on the right. So the handle of the reel is considered the wheel, and the body of the reel is considered the axle. So like any wheel and axle system, the wheel has a larger size or a larger radius compared to the axle. But the greater that the wheel is with respect to the axle, well then the greater the mechanical advantage. So for example, if we wanted to increase the mechanical advantage of this reel, we could, for example, increase the length, increase the radius of this handle, or we could leave that alone and decrease the radius of the reel. It's about minimizing the radius of the axle with respect to maximizing the radius of the wheel. So aside from a fishing rod, another common example of a wheel and axle system in everyday life is a bicycle. But there's a catch, because in a bicycle, the wheel and axle principle is reversed. So unlike the traditional setup, where force is applied to the wheel to amplify the torque at the axle, the roles are again reversed. And in this case, the force is applied to the hub, which is our axle, via the chain and cassette. And the chain and cassette refers to these components here. Now the hub drives the larger rim. So here we have our rim. It is essentially the wheel of the bicycle, as we would readily identify. And this magnifies the rotational motion, which allows the bicycle to cover more ground per turn of the wheel. Now the mechanical advantage is unchanged. It is still a ratio of the radius of the wheel divided by the radius of the axle. However, the mechanical advantage in this case does not translate to an increase in force, but to an increase in the rotational distance and velocity. So small input rotation at the hub results in a larger rotational output at the rim, and this makes it more efficient to use the bicycle and allows for greater speeds. Okay, so let's summarize what we've learned about the wheel and axle simple machine. So we know it consists of two components, a larger wheel, which is attached to a smaller axle, so that the two parts rotate together. A wheel and axle can be used to do three main things. Lift a load, increase rotational speed, or facilitate motion. And this is because a small force applied to the wheel can create a much larger force applied to the axle. And this is the meaning of mechanical advantage in a wheel and axle system. Now to determine the mechanical advantage, 
This is simply equal to the radius of the wheel divided by the radius of the axle. And some common examples of wheels and axles in everyday life, as we've already discussed, include fishing reels, bicycle drive trains, and doorknobs.